So piriformis syndrome, okay, comes in two flavors. The first flavor is this is the muscle here, this is the piriformis here, okay? It's one of the group of the deep external rotators, which there are several of. Why it's so important to our sciatic nerve is because the nerve runs underneath it. In certain part of the population, it actually also runs through it as well but that's a little bit more rarer. They are probably more prevalent to piriformis syndrome. So we're talking about an entrapment of the sciatic nerve, obviously with the piriformis. There's lots and lots of debate out there whether it actually is the piriformis and it's not some of the other deep external rotators here, maybe the obturators. But for our mindset and the treatment that we're going to be looking at in terms of piriformis syndrome, it's going to be specific related to the piriformis itself. Keep in mind when we are treating these areas, it really is quite difficult to just isolate the piriformis itself. And if you are dealing with someone with piriformis syndrome, once again, it also comes in different flavors, okay? So once again, it's all about that irritability. So if it's really quite severe, we don't wanna treat this very aggressively, okay? So it is important what techniques you use and when.